subscribe and let's get into this man. man. I went freaking hard. Gizmo's gadgets, goodies, right. gym homies, homie, another hitter. And the freaking weights were my wife. Just Gizmo's gadgets, Gizmo's gadgets, goodies. Let's get into this man. You're a convicted fella with a little bit of dancing. Gizmo's gadgets, goodies, right. gym homie, GGH homie, another hitter. Hard hitter. <laughs> Hard-hitting. Gizmo's gadgets, Gizmo's gadgets, goodies. Let's get into this. What up, what up? Man, it's Garage Gym Homie. Garage Gym Homie. Man, I might have to reevaluate this review. And today, today I'm reviewing Rise Pump Daddy V2 non stim pre workout. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out all the dang time for you. So click subscribe and let's get into this, man. God bless all of you, man. I hope you're feeling amazing. Living from the heart, man. Staying out of your head. Look, man. Look, man. Let me tell you something. Let me bring you up here, man. This is what I want to say, man. I'm a God guy, so I got two choices when I'm making decisions, man. Two choices. Is this thing I'm about to do either going to get me closer to God or get me further from God? Well, that's it, man. That's it. it is, is talking bad or ugly about this person that's not around going to get me closer or further from God, man? Is saying the F word every minute and talking trash and sounding like a lunatic going to get me closer to God or further from God? It is stealing a, a movie on the internet going to get me closer to God? Oh, but uh, screw Hollywood. Da, 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 da. You know, like I get to decide when, when I get to be honest or when I don't. That, that gets me further from God, man. So when you make choices, it's either getting you closer to God or further from God, man. So keep that in mind. Let's get closer to God, man. Together, let's get this dang muscle. Now quit monkeying around, man. Rise. Find folks over there. I don't actually know them, man. I don't know them, and they don't know GGH, man. This was actually sent to me by NutriCartel. Uh, so if you like what I have to say about this, you can get it from NutriCartel.com, discount code GGH15. Um, and, uh, you know, that'll knock some big cash out. But I'm going to give it to you straight, man. You know, NutriCartel also sent me that Rise Godzilla. I said that thing was trash, homie. Now, the Rise Blackout, that thing's fire. I kept that for myself. The first Pump Daddy, surprisingly, that boy was fire. The Rise Loaded Pre, that boy was fire. So really, so far, I think, I, I don't know what else I reviewed by them, but I think that the only thing I didn't like was the Godzilla. That thing was bunk, homie. Bunk, homie. That thing got me further from God. All right, man, listen. Um, so let's talk about the label. I'm going to tell you what I like. I'm going to tell you what I don't like. Let's talk about the facts, man. They ain't giving us them feelings, homie. This ain't for the women on The View, man. This is the facts, man. Fully disclosed label, and they are doing that one scoop, two scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss, Momo Jumbo, homie. We doing two scoops over here, man. We doing two scoops. The neighbor's looking funny. We doing two scoops over here, and the two scoops... It's 32.6 grams, and I just want to say two-level scoops was exactly 32 to 33 grams, man. They got it exactly right, man. I threw it on the digi. They got it exactly right. So this is this, man, in two scoops, because that's the, that's the full way to take it. You get 20 servings. This thing is, that's a fat tub of uh, pre-workout, man. L-citrulline, pure citrulline, 9 grams. Beta alanine, 6.4 grams. That's for the warm, fuzzy, hot. The pure citrulines for the pumps, man. The betas for the 6.4. See, they must have heard when GG, GGH said, you got to feel the betas to be an alpha. So they gave you two scoops of the alphas, homie. Two scoops, 6.4 grams, which I really don't like, man. And I, just because I'm a reviewer, so I don't want to be oversaturated, man. Um, because then I, I, I just like the tingles, homie. I know there's other benefits, but I just like the tingles, man. I don't want to stop feeling the tingles, man. I'm hooked on the tingles. Creatine monohydrate, five grams. I kind of like that, man. You know, I'm not mad at that. A lot of you cry about it, but they're giving you the full dose of creatine. So why not, man? That's kind of nice, man. And that has some benefits for, uh, 
like right away, I guess. Um, shuttling nutrients, the mild cognitive benefit, all sorts of stuff, man. Uh, Betaine and hydrus, four grams. That's for the power output, man. That's going to make you a strong alpha male iron pump. That's going to make you turn off that Howard Stern, man. That's going to make you being conscious, man, of what you're consuming. That's going to make you do things that get closer to God, man. Not for strong men want to get closer to God. Strong men rely on their creator, man. The creator, not their creator. The creator. Well, their creator, too. It ain't weak, man, to be spiritual. That's a way of strength, man. Weak men, the weakest people I know say they're atheists. Oh, I'm an atheist. The most miserable, weakest people I know claim that, man. Come argue with me, homie. All right, man. <laughs> I'm talking junk. Uh, Betaine nitrate has NO3T, 2 grams. Hydrolyzide, so that's them nitrates, homie. Nice stuff right there, man. No, more pumps and stuff and power and all that. Hydroly hydrolyzed casein. As, oh, Vasodrive AP, man, great ingredient, 508 milligrams, a hefty dose. Citra Peak, 200 milligrams, uh, and then this Panex root, you know, whatever, uh, estrogen. So for the absorption, 50 milligrams, man. So this was a blue raspberry flavor It's uh, with a sweet twist. So it was uh, very, this was like drinking some EAAs, man. You know, Rye's got their flavors down. I'm not a big blue raspberry thing. You know, I drink it for two seconds, you move on, you pump iron. I didn't stack this with anything. I just used it non-stim when I used it and uh, went maniaco on the way. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is what I'm going to say about this. Now, before I get it, I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons comparing it to the first one. I'm just going to tell you, I got a couple gripes with it. I got a couple things I like with it, just to give it to you straight. You know, I'm not here just to say it's good or bad. I'm just going to share my experience. You could decide if it's good or bad for you. What I'll say is it is worth it. This is a, this is a hitter right here, man. This is a hitter. I mean, hands down hitter. The boy's freaking loaded. Even for a 33 gram scoop, it didn't really weigh me down. You know, like huge supplements has pump serum. It's a similar size scoop. It feels much heavier to me. I mean, I love huge supplements, but that one, specific uh, pre-workout just feels heavier to me. I have a heavy feeling when I take it. This has still a light feeling, even for 33 grams somehow. So look, man, I take the drink. I come down to the dance floor. There is something in here. I can't point it out. That makes me feel awake when I take it more awake, like very apparent. That's what I want to say. A very apparent, more awake feeling. Now, I don't know if that's the hefty dose of the citrulline and the nitrates and I got more blood flow, you know, pumps also probably wake my brain up, I'm guessing. I mean, I'm just using bro science, common sense here, but my blood's flowing for everything else to pump me up more. I'm guessing it's flowing for my brain. So, there's something in here that definitely makes me feel much more awake and alert than without it. That's hands down. The beta alanine experience, I thought I'd be like itching my freaking face off. It was not that noticeable. Maybe because it's so freaking loaded. I can't imagine I'm super oversaturated. I just came off a stim break and I've only used beta once since. Um, I think it's just so loaded. Now, it did last about an hour, man. Like the whole entire time I was training, I felt the beta alanine, but it was mild, but it lasted a very long time. So maybe it is just very strong, man. I guess it is strong because most beta doesn't last that long, but I expect to be like, oh my God, the tingles and I'm scratching my bald Jew head off and, you know, I'm freaking scratching my nose like this and the beta it wasn't like that man so it wasn't too crazy which is good what uh, hey man i'm in battle right now man on that pump daddy v2 by rise you take it you might get a surprise <laughs> i ain't telling no lies i'm one of the few who keep it 100 it's me and you really i only know two man i'm on that pump daddy v2 i'm about to record the review because I took it a few times, and now I'm spitting a few lines. Oh, get back to the day review, you monkeying around, homie! Yo, but for real though, man, I'm feeling nasty. I'm feeling vasky. 
You don't want to harass me, homie. I just want to show you the pumps. Look at these, man. Them pumpers. Oh, man, got that nasty striation here. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons, man. Now you're monkeying around again. Get back to the dang review. The pumps kick in quickly. So now this is the good and the bad. I think the pumps, first of all, so they reformulated without the glycerol. I think the pumps were a little crazier on the first one. I think they were a little more noticeable, crazier pumps on Rise Volume 1. I think the glycerol made you puff out more. And I, this was one of the few pump formulas where the glycerol was just kind of a perfect synergy with the citrulline where I felt puffy but still had like pretty cool vascularity where it didn't like make me feel too watery cheap. This one, there's obviously no glycerol. These are, have very, very good effective pumps. Um, but I think the first one was a little just crazier in the pump department. This was a little less. This had a much more noticeable striation vascularity kind of pump like more of a dry pump but that had uh more of the mind muscle connection kind of like super glycerol pump this was really nice man i think for the nine grams of pure citrulline and the nitrates and the vaso and everything like that i think maybe i expected it to be like more of a crazy vascularity than it was it was pretty good though this is def this is worth it because it's the whole dang package you know, the nine grams of citrulline. Now I will say a couple things about this. I felt strong as heck on this thing. Whatever's in here, that baiting four grams, must, there must be something to it. Cause I felt strong as, I was doing close grip bench press, just pounding it out, man, with the, uh, with the, like 225, 245. Just, just freaking rap, rap, rap. And for me, like, I'm like, man, I'm feeling strong today when I'm doing that. You know, like, so definitely there's something. So, so here's the pros and the cons, man. Very, more of the pumps I like. Very nice, tight, dry, vascular pump. Crazy strength. Freaking definitely awake, alert feeling. You could throw whatever nootropic or pump for, uh, not pump formula, nootropic, or, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, fat burner on top of it. The cons are this. So it's an all around pre-workout. The cons are this. I mean, non-stim pre-workout. Very hard to stack on top of stuff because they're already giving you the 6.4 grams of uh, beta. Um, the other cons are they took out that vinca mine. And I'm like, if you're going to give me this fully loaded non-stim pre-work, I want the nootropics and everything with it. Like Alpha Lion did it right. They gave you the nootropics and everything like that. So there was something in the first one that made me like feel good. This one and that one made me feel equally awake and alert. Something in that first one made me like feel good. I don't know if there was something that Vinca mine or whatever. I think I liked it a little better. This one, the only th advantage this one has over the first one, it's a much tighter, drier pump. The first one, I think, was a, a little better of a product. That's what I got, man. How much more can I say? Is it worth it? It's definitely still worth it, man. It's definitely a really solid product. I'm just giving you the pros and the cons. It's a really solid product, super effective, and it's fun to use. It's a, it's a loaded hitter. That's what I got. Garage Gym Homies, always going to give it to you straight till the end of days. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, also subscribe to the channel. God bless all of you together. Let's get this dang muscle. I'm out.